CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford joins us now. So how can you prove defamation in this case? Here's what defamation is, so people understand the definition, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, our constitutional right to free speech is not absolute. There are limitations on it. Uh, for instance, the classic one is you're told you can't falsely yell fire in a crowded theater. Mm -hmm. Falsely yell it, right, because obviously you can expose people to damage. What you can do is offer up your opinion about things, mm -hmm. unless, uh, as, as long as it's clearly an opinion. Here's what you can't do, and this is where you get into defamation. You can't make a false statement of fact that damages somebody's reputation. So if I wanted to say, in a situation similar to this, I was just not at all happy with the work that my contractor did. That's okay. That's my opinion. But if I say, I was not at all happy with the work that my contractor did, and by the way, my contractor is an embezzler, okay? Oh. Now I've made a statement jewelry. of it, or he stole jewelry, or even you can make the argument that says he damaged my house, All right? Now you're making a statement of fact. Now, the, the law also says truth is an absolute defense. Mm -hmm. So if somebody did damage your house, if somebody is an embezzler, then you're okay. So even though it damages their reputation, as long as it's true, it's okay. So the, the, the classic thing to remember is a false statement of fact that damages somebody's reputation, right. as opposed to opinion. But look, reviews are really important online yeah. when you're buying stuff on eBay, when you're looking for a contract or anybody on Angie's list. So if you're gonna post something about someone, you're recommending you should say, look, I think it wasn't that great of a job. Right, the idea is this. You know, the internet is still kind of the Wild West. Yeah. You know, traditional news organizations, we have editorial processes we follow, reliable sources, fact checking, somebody making a decision, even though you have the right to do it is the right thing to do. If you're gonna go online here, and ev as you said, Nora, everybody you uses this. Yeah. Everybody goes and does some research first right. before they, they buy stuff. Make sure you're doing it in terms of a genuine opinion on your part. Now here's the other thing. Don't try and cloak a statement of fact and opinion saying, well, it's my opinion yeah. that he damaged my house. It's my opinion that this person is a serial killer. Just because you say the word opinion doesn't oh. mean it's no longer a statement of fact. So that's the thing you got to be careful about. A statement of fact that's false and damages their reputation. All right, Jack. Increasing number of defamation cases about online well, uh, stories. People are starting to say, how do I defend myself mm -hmm. on this? And that's why you're seeing these things happen more often than not. Jack Ford with more free legal advice. I like <laughs> having Jack here. <laughs> Thank you.